Okay, here we go. Lesson four, ratios in right triangles. So the first question asks you um, to consider A divided by C and B divided by D, which is greater or are they equal? And explain how you know. So, um, First of all, I noticed that there's a 90 degree angle. So they have one angle in common. Then I also notice this 20 degree angle. So they have a 90 and a 20, 90, 20. So I know by angle, angle, triangle, similarity theorem, that um, these two triangles are similar. Now, I also know that uh, in similar triangles, um, the ratio of A to B is going to be the exact same as the ratio of C to D. So you could also say um, that A divided by C will equal B divided by D. Because in similar triangles, the comparison of not only similar sides will be the same, but also if you were to compare sides of two sides of the same triangle to the similar two sides of the other triangle, the ratios will be the same. So I know these are going to be equal because the ratios of the sides will stay the same. Okay, cool. Tons of triangles. So this one, um, this one actually requires you to go on GeoGebra. So this specific problem actually requires you to be in class. Um, there is a link though that I can send to you. So just email me. Um, email me that you need, just say I need the link for 4.2. Okay, that's what, that way I'll know that uh, you're watching the video in order to complete the problem. Okay, cool. Uh, 4.3, let's jump into that. This is also one where you are going to need the link. So I'm challenging you to email me because you need the link for 4.2 and 4.3. So once you do that, I'll send you the link with further instructions on how to complete this. Now, Let's look at the lesson four summary. We can definitely touch upon that. So that says that all right triangles, so there's a right triangle, there's a right triangle, there's a right triangle that contain the same acute angles. So in this example, we've got a 25 degree angle are similar to each other. So you got a right angle and the 25 
So these three triangles are similar. Why is that? Well, that's the angle, angle, triangle similarity theorem. This means that the ratios of corresponding side lengths are equal for all right triangles with the same acute angles. What's an acute angle? That's anything less than 90 degrees. So, it's an interesting phenomenon. Now, these triangles are all similar by the angle-angle triangle similarity theorem. Focusing on the 25 degree angles, we see that all three triangles have adjacent leg to hypotenuse ratios of approximately 0.91. What the heck does that mean, right? Well, from the perspective of the 25 degree angle, this one is adjacent to the 25 degree angle. In other words, it's right next to it. In fact, it actually helps create the angle. This is the hypotenuse. So in all these instances where we have a right triangle with a 25 degree angle, the ratio of this leg, the adjacent leg, divided by the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse the longest leg of a right triangle. So the adjacent leg divided by the hypotenuse in all three of these triangles is 0 0.91. So because all right triangles with the same acute angle measures have the same ratios, what is a ratio? It's basically a numerator divided by a denominator. Um, we can look for patterns that will help solve problems. So the right triangle table comes from measuring and finding ratios in several right triangles with different angle measures. So if you have a right triangle, remember, triangle with a little box or 90 degrees and you have an angle of 25 degrees the adjacent leg aka the one that's touching the angle divided by the hypotenuse the longest leg in any right triangle will always be this number this decimal now the opposite so the opposite in this case for the 25 is 3.0. So the opposite leg divided by the hypotenuse will always equal 0.423. Same goes for this one. 2.5 divided by 5.9 will always equal 0.423. This is the, from the perspective of the 25 degree angle, this is the opposite leg. From the perspective of this 25 degree angle, this is the opposite leg. And from the perspective of this 25 degree angle, this is the opposite leg. It's all the way across the way. That's the opposite leg. Okay. Last but not least, the opposite divided by the adjacent. So the opposite divided by the adjacent in a right triangle with a 25 degree angle. So the opposite one from the 25 degree angle divided by the adjacent leg will always equal these numbers 
or we'll always equal this number for 25. Now, if instead it was a 35 instead of 25, the ratios would be here. These here. So, there's another thing that you need to notice. So notice that the rows for 25 degrees and 65 degrees have two of the same ratios. Point four two three and point nine oh six. What is special about twenty five and sixty five? They are complementary angles. Complementary angles add up to ninety degrees. So Let's look at all of them. 55 and 35. Let me get a different pen for this. Well, watch this. 55.574 for adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Let's look at 35. These two. Sum equals 90. So, 0 0.574, 0 0 0.574, 0 0.819, 0 0.819. So, if you have two angles, like 55 and 35, that add up to 90, for the 35, the adjacent over divided by the hypotenuse will equal the opposite divided by the hypotenuse for 55. So I just need you to notice that. Um, we're going to dive further into that at a later date, but um, this lesson summary is really important for your homework. I need you to do one two, three, and seven, which will be a review problem. So one, two, three, and seven. And um, it'll be good. The short one, email me about the uh, link. Okay. Thanks so much.